Yo, what's up guys, Mike Redfox. In this video, we're gonna test Caspa on every 30 series GPU. I'm gonna show you the best overclocks and some secrets to get really, really efficient using the latest mining software. This is my test rig in case you haven't seen it before. It's got every 30 series card on it, minus the 3050 and a couple RTX workstation cards as well. And right now it's mining Caspa. And I'm gonna jump right into HiveOS and show you the results that I'm able to get. So you can see right here on the screen, all of those GPUs, the current mega hash and wattage that I'm able to achieve. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to apply everything that I've done to your specific graphics cards that you have. But before we get there, let's not waste any time, just in case you're here for the results so you can input them, you know what to do. Here they are up on the spreadsheet. This is using the latest Law Miner. And if you're a fan of Gminer, which is the other mining software that you can use for Caspa that works really well, these are gonna be the results that I got for that and all the data that you need to input into Hive or Windows and your miner. And I'm gonna talk in a little bit about why you might wanna use Law Miner versus G Miner or G Miner versus Law Miner, depending on the specific GPUs that you have based on some things that I learned about the mining software. So, again, those two pieces of mining software number one is gonna be Law Miner. I'll leave links to it down in the description below. And then the other is gonna be G Miner. I'll leave links down in the description below to this one as well. And just so you can see, I'm not making any of this stuff up. Here's the miner running right now. This is Law Miner with those GPUs, with those same results uh, reported in HiveOS. So let's get started. What's the approach? How do we figure out the best clocks, memory, offsets, all of that magic stuff for mining cast? But well, we're gonna start over just like we did for Flux. If you didn't check that video out, I'll leave it linked up in the card above at the flight sheet. Again, in this case, we're using Law Miner. So in here, we're gonna go to the Miner configuration and we're gonna add some extra configuration arguments. The one we're gonna start with is the memory clock. The rule, lock it at 810. You can also lock it at 405. Not much of a difference, but difference from Flux. Flux was 5001 because it needs some memory for its algorithm. Caspa doesn't really seem to need any. So locking at 810 or 405 puts that memory in what it seems like an idle state and really reduces the amount of power that the GPUs are pulling. So that's the rule, lock your memory there. Now, same thing for your core lock. Your GPUs are gonna be different than mine. This is a good starting place. My recommendation, start at like 1425 for your 30 series cards, go up and down in increments of 15 to find the most efficient. You can go a little nuts doing this, it's okay. But efficiency means most amount of uh, Performance for the least amount, I don't know why I forgot what it means. The most amount of performance for the least amount of wattage that you're using. So find the most efficiency, get a spreadsheet out, put that data in, figure out what the most efficient settings are for your GPU. Once you got those, throw them in to the flight sheet here and hit apply. And those are gonna, you're off to a really good start. There's something you gotta do next, which is a little different. You may have not had to do this before, and you're gonna have to set a core offset as well. And you can see it's crazy. I got core offsets as low as 100 and as high as 490. I'm gonna show you how and what I learned to like approach this. So here's what's happening. When you apply this core offset, it's actually reducing the voltage that the GPU is taking in the card, which is then reducing the amount of power the GPU needs. Law Miner and G Miner seem to handle this a little bit differently, and I'll get into that in a little bit. For right now, we're gonna talk about Law Miner. So to see what's happening behind the scenes here, you wanna use this command in HiveOS. I'm gonna show it to you right now. So go over your Hive shell or whatever you're using, and you're gonna write NVIDIA SMI dash Q dash D voltage. Once you enter that in there, you're gonna actually see the millivolts the graphics card is using for each individual GPU on your rig. And you can see, for example, we'll just use this top one. GPU zero is 650 millivolts. That's the RTX A2000 in there. That's what it's using. If I change the core offset in HiveOS to a different number, it's at 300 right now, 
If I change that to maybe a hundred, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna see the millivolts go up and that GPU is gonna take more power. So, the other question might be, Mike, what if, why didn't you go to 400 or 500 on this? Well, I tried, and eventually you hit this place where the millivolts are not gonna reduce. It's just gonna stay at 650. So if I go to four or 500 and I see it just staying at 650, I just roll back to that 300 because I knew I hit the absolute minimum that this card could go, at least mining this algorithm with this miner, and there's no reason to go any higher. And that's the approach that I took for all these GPUs. So you can see the 3060, I could go to 400. You can see on that 3070 Ti, I went all the way up to 490. I actually went to 500, but I found it got the millivolts as low as it could go, but it, it was crashing. I just think that like, it just didn't like that high of an offset, but 490 seems to like no problem and still gives me that really low millivolts on that 3070 uh, Ti. So you can see, each card is different. These higher tier cards seem to just like 100 and it stayed there. Anything above that, I didn't get any further reduction in the voltage uh, on the GPU. But that's the approach. That's the secret here. That's what's happening behind the scenes. That's how you can see it and measure it and determine if what offset you're putting in is enough, not enough. You know, this is like the science behind it. So you can really, for your specific GPU, see what's happening. So. I'll leave that command uh, down in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste it into your Hive OS. Um, so once you do that, you're gonna be getting the most efficient results you can for your GPU. And if we go look over at the hash rates that I was able to get, uh, we're gonna go to Law Monitor. You can see really impressive, no surprise, the A4000 and the 3070 coming out uh, of the most efficient of all of the cards. Then, uh, surprisingly, again, just like on Flux, the 3090 Ti looks really good. Just can get that wattage so low on that GPU uh, for the amount of uh, mega hash that I'm able to get. Now, G minor, if you like that minor, it's a little different. And you can see if you have a keen eye, the voltages are actually different too. And I can't core offset as high with some of those lower tier GPUs. So 240 got, the voltage is actually a little bit lower. Didn't really seem to shave off that much more wattage than using Law Miner. Um, but here's, I guess, what I found. Here's when to use maybe one uh, miner versus the other. So if you have 3080, 3080 12 gigabyte, 3080 Ti, 3090 or 3090 Ti, I found that G Miner is slightly better for those GPUs. If you have 3070 Ti, 3070, A4000, 3060 Ti, 3060, or A2000, I found that Law Miner is better. So kind of like the more power hungry cards, 3080s and up, go G Miner, if you have a rig of them or something, and then the 3070 Ti's and lower, go Law Miner. At least right now, as I'm making this video with all of the testing that I've done. I think that's it. I hope this helps with the overall approach of how to tune your specific GPUs because every GPU is different. The overall approach and exactly how to get the most efficient uh, efficiency out of your card. Again, most mega hash, least amount of wattage, that's efficiency, that's the name of the game here. Um, if you have anything to teach me, please leave it down in the comment section below. Any questions or anything you have, leave them down there too. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was helpful. Hit the like button if it was. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more GPU modding content, join my Discord, social media, all those links are down in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.